What's your level of optimism heading into 2019? I think I'm probably more optimistic than most. You know, I still see a very, very sound economy in China, very strong economy in the U.S., somewhat more sluggish in, in Europe, but we expect a 19 will be a good year for our company. I wanted to ask specifically about Europe because IMF downgrades its global forecast this year and does take down a number of the European countries. What are you seeing from the consumer? You know, we saw a slowdown of the consumer spend last year, and uh, our single biggest concern is really the European impact of a potential Brexit, because it's very often discussed as an isolated event, but it will have an overall impact uh, of the European economy. Europe is about 30% of our business, but we're getting most or entirely all of our growth outside Europe. So for us as a company, it's less relevant. You mentioned China as actually a bright spot. So when Tim Cook of Apple comes out, cuts guidance for revenue and warns about the impact of the U.S.-China trade war on the Chinese economy, what were you thinking? I was thinking that he's probably in a, business, a different business than we are. You know, we are selling you know, sneakers and, and, and T-shirts. And uh, 2018 was very, very good for us in China. We expect a very strong 19. So we have not seen that. I can't speak for his business. But in the sporting goods business, you know, we continue to see a very strong uptake of our products in China. And that's also our expectation. For no it. impact? Very little. So we're not, it was not like we came into you know, Q4, which I can't speak about. But we didn't see anything that makes us worry at this stage. And we believe that China is still, for us, represents a huge opportunity moving forward. What about the U.S.? Are you seeing any impact of the government shutdown in terms of consumer confidence in spending? Uh, that I can't really uh, comment on. What I can say is the Christmas spend was, was very good. And uh, we don't believe that our numbers in the U.S. will be impacted by the shutdown. Christmas spend, because mixed picture on holiday spending, department stores didn't give anything to get excited about. Our, our Christmas spend was very much according to plan. Which was very good. Last time... Here in Davos last year, you actually were part of a group that met with President Trump, business CEOs. He's obviously not here this time, but if you were, what would you tell him? I would say that uh, open trade is good, which we also told him last year. That's it's super important that the uh, U.S. and Europe have a strong relationship. And uh, we are long-term concerned about um, the development between the U.S. and China. That's probably the three sentences I would say. In other words, no more tariffs. I don't, we don't believe that uh, tariffs is, is good for world trade. For our industry, it has no impact. But overall, if the consumer has less to spend, eventually it will end up you know, buying less sneakers from us. But we don't, we don't subscribe to, you know, to tariffs. We don't think it's a good thing for, for the global economy. And we as a company, the Adidas brand, has profited tremendously from the globalization in the last 10 years. The explosion of growth we've seen in Asia, in the Middle East, in Latin America, has been you know, a core to our success as a global company. You have also not been a fan of Brexit and have warned repeatedly that this was a mistake. I mean, we're heading toward a March 29th deadline without a deal in place. How does a company like yours prepare for a no-deal Brexit? So we're preparing as it's coming, you know, and we continue to repeat and I do the same. If you look financially, this is really not a very wise decision, neither for the UK nor for Europe, irrespective of whether, you know, the vote was done two years ago and irrespective of whether it would take longer to find a resolution. We think the best thing that could happen would be a revote on the Brexit. It is weakening the European economy. It's weakening you know, the English economy. And we just think it's a very, very bad decision that will have very severe consequences in the long term. So your sense is that a second referendum would produce very different results? We believe that if I look upon the polls, that's pretty much what it indicates. And I hope that that would uh, take place. Emotionally, I would like to have it. I'm not certain rationally it will happen. But I would encourage any sensible polit politician, both in Europe and, and in the UK, to say we've got to have a revote because it's bad for Europe. You're here talking uh, plastics is a very hot issue at Davos this year. And you've been talking about the success of your plastic shoes. Are you actually seeing yeah. consumers? Yeah, so you know, we migrated a number of products you know, uh, to what we call plastic or made of, made of ocean plastic you know, you know, about three years ago. Last year, we sold 5 million pairs of shoes made of ocean plastic. That's equivalent to 55 million plastic bottles that we're collecting this year. We're going to sell approximately 11 million. So that's 120 million plastic bottles we're removing from the ocean. So plastic is a huge environmental issue, and we believe that we're in a unique position at Adidas because we can take plastic, reconvert it, and make products out of it, whether it's shoes, T-shirts, you know, bathing suits, and that is a push that we're making, and that is really resonating with consumers all over the world because plastic is a global issue. And finally, I'll get punished by my co-anchor if I don't ask you how Arsenal's doing and your partnership. No, so Arsenal partnership will start in the summer. They beat Chelsea 2-0 uh, over the weekend, which yeah. was great to see. My husband was yeah. not pleased. And uh, we have great hopes for Arsenal. I also want to say it's great to see that Man U is back on track, seven in a win, seven in a, in a row. So we're very happy with our bigger football clubs, whether it's Manchester United or upcoming Arsenal. So Arsenal just you know, need to play this season. And next season, they'll be better off because they have better products.